Today, we try to cook a dish using only power tools and DIY equipment. And can we make it look and taste good enough that a chef won't be able to tell how it was made? Well, let's find out. Words cannot describe how excited we are to be filming this video. Boys, you've got your equipment. We've got some ingredients. Let's see what happens. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Oh no. Nothing that's normally in the kitchen. Except nope. for chopping boards. Just two tools. Right. <laughs> uh, right, where do you want to start, chef? Trowel. So we've got a saucepan. I'll get some ingredients. Yep. You uh, build a sieve. Okay, that's easy. Okay, we've got some scallops in the shell. And we've got some red mullet that is, uh, hasn't been pin boned or scaled properly. So I'm gonna have to, fine. I'm gonna pin bone this fish. I'll do some prep, you do some building. Shout if you need us to do anything. We can build as well. Yeah. Oh, uh, can you sand sand me a carrot? <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> yes. Well, you do that. What else can Barry? What can you prep? Careful, mate. Barry, that's a sight. Oh, look at that. Like, yeah. Just carry on. Uh, really fine, like a brunoise, please. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and be like a decrushed. But the thing for us all to remember is that he can't have any inclination that this is how he prepared his dish. Yeah. <laughs> so it's got to look. Chopped, sliced, peeled properly. Should we uh, shred some corn? Just to clarify, everything that we are using here has been washed, sanitized, or is safe for food consumption after washing and hygienic analysis. Do not oh. try this at home. Oh. We had to do a lot of research to ensure that this remains safe. <laughs> Says a man polishing a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, this is an effective way to crush garlic. Oh. So I'm going to season this mullet. I've scored it. How's this the carrot? This is the smoothest carrot that's ever existed. Oh, right. <laughs> I can't do anything more with it. Okay? Make sure you wash it. Okay, thank you. Uh, so normally I'd use a spoon to scoop these scallops out, but we don't have a spoon. This is, mm, this is the most ridiculous thing ever. Kush, you're the chef here. Yeah. Believe it or not. Have you got a vision? What is it that we're making? I think we're going to do some lightly roasted Cornish red mullet, a fricassee of scallops, induya, sweet corn and chickpeas, and a garlic sourdough parsley crumble. You have not wow. told me how we're using my shiny carrot. <laughs> carrot. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, Jay, we've got a drill. Oh, yeah, we've got a multi-tool. He's found the drill. Well, how do you grate a carrot with a drill? Put the carrot in the clamp. Yep. Attach it to the workbench. Yep. And cut little pieces of it with the drill. Yep. Right, you do that then. How? Uh, no, no, you can do that. Do it and then catch it in the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back to flavour. Flavour bombs. He loves that word, doesn't he? Yes. yes. Yeah? Unduya. Yep. Flavour bomb. Don't need to do anything to it other than scoop it out with a spoon. Olives. Chop them up. The Kotu Roti chopping method it's working, is it? some of your finest dice. <laughs> <laughs> this is a lot of fun, boys. It is, isn't I'm it? I'm loving it. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. I'm gonna, I want to slice this up so it cooks nice and evenly, though. You know what would be really nice on the plate? If you had some sort of like foam on the plate to look really chefy, wouldn't it? With foam. what? I've got a foam gun. No, but you could make a whisk. And you have aquafaba. <gasps> we have aquafaba. <laughs> you have aquafaba. <laughs> you have aquafaba. <laughs> and I think you could make a whisk. With what? A drill. Can you make a balloon whisk Can out you make of a balloon whisk out of that? Yeah, I will try my best. Maybe that, that, that help? An axe! You've got an axe! Will an axe help? Of course an axe is going to help. Oh, that is sharp. Hilarious. It's not the finest knife in the world, but certainly sharp. Finally chop the herbs and, on this board, finally chop a sausage. Can I have the axe, please? The axe. You need to wash it, because obviously it's, it's had scallop on it. Oh. Can you wash your, go wash your axe in the sink? <laughs> Shall I start sautéing some garlic? Yes. How? How? We haven't got a pan. We've got a pan. So I'm going to put the garlic in here. What's this mesh made out of? Uh, stainless steel. Stain it's the same mesh that you get on a sieve. That works. This is our little saute pan. That is our stove. I'll put the fish on that and roast it later. Lovely. And our saucepan. I think we're, I think we're set, guys. But that's frying quite nicely, isn't it, Jay? 
That's frying very nicely. Is this where we put... You do have a plate. Like, we've got a plate to use, so... Okay. That's going to be our mixing bowl. I'm just going to pass you stuff and you throw it in the bucket. We can put the olive in the bucket, put the corn on here, and I'll, I'll roast the corn. Oh, charred corn. Look at that. Coming in. We've charred our corn and now we're steaming it. <laughs> so it's double cooked corn. Oh, my. Yeah, you, well, I'll hold this. You come back, you go back to that. So, sausages. Yeah, so you want to, <laughs> just half, really finely chopped. Finely chopped, he's got an axe in his hand. Boys, can I do anything to help? If you can somehow turn that into breadcrumbs on that chopping board. I am currently using a heat oh, gun wow. to make toast. Oh, and then breadcrumbs, toasted breadcrumbs. I've made a whisk. Check if it works over there, Barry, in the safety zone. <laughs> Holy hell, does not work. Yeah, yeah, we're not using that. No, that's too scary. Wow, that smells toasty. Yeah, you uh, char that off. Do we need a bit of attraction? It's releasing all the oils. <laughs> that's what we want. Right, we've got the big fan on. Right, in the bucket. <laughs> this is carnage. Yes, Jamie. Oh, look at that oil. Look at that oil. There, all right, mixy mixy. I know we can't use kitchen stuff, but you never get to a, a, a building site without a mug, do you? Yeah, yeah. it's a mug, Barry. Barry Taylor. Whoa, it worked very quickly. <laughs> it's worked. It's such a... Oh, oh, Barry! Oh, oh, my hack of fabbing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Chef, I need direction. You've got soldiers at the moment. You want to mix and season that? Mix and season? Yeah. Why is my shiny carrot not getting oh, used? Got a whole how, different... How, how short? <laughs> Jamie, what are you doing? I thought I could mix with the tape measure. But Jamie Spafford. You can't. Here, use a metal, use a metal, I don't know what these are. Welding rods? Pretend they're, ah! Chopsticks. Chopsticks. Oh. <laughs> bit of salt. I think it maybe thicken it with a bit of aquafaba. <gasps> oh. oh. That is thick. <laughs> All right. really thick. That, should we cook some fish and plate up? Yes. yes. <laughs> right, so, in do you a fie, this mullet, so this will add a nice bit of fat and savouriness to the fish. How would you traditionally cook this kush? Would uh, you steam it or would you pan fry I'd it? I'd pan fry this skin side down really gently in lots of olive oil, flip it over and take it off the heat. So do you want to do that with an iron? <laughs> <laughs> it will bring the heat gun into play. <laughs> <laughs> you said that with so much sincerity, it's amazing. Uh, so we want to oil the fish. <laughs> like it was a normal question to ask. Yeah. yeah. Back in the summer, we had our Wild Weekender live show. And it was massive. Yeah, thousands of you joined us online across two days, and we had literally the best fun ever. So on the 9th and 10th of December, we're doing it again, but bigger. Yeah, Jamie booked a dodgy old inn in the middle of nowhere to do the live stream, and it's called Snow Way Out. There's going to be an ice bath challenge in a hot tub that definitely doesn't work anymore. James, Cush and Ebbers have a three-way chef battle using what little ingredients they can pull together. A pass it on with no electricity except for a small bike generator. Cush is unleashed with a chefy cooking masterclass. And a treacherous mince pie challenge where the pies are filled with weird stuff. And our brand new hilarious poker face roulette. And if we can escape the inn, an icy themed pass it on finale in the elements with three chefs and three normals and a ton of snow. We need you to vote, control, laugh and cook along in our most interactive live stream ever. And as always, the entire thing will be available on demand for 30 days after the event. Either way, we want to see you there. Are you confident to cook that? Yeah, low. Low. Watch it. Oh, look at oh. that! Oh, wow! Curl, baby. That is brilliant. What should I do with this? My shiny carrot. You asked me to shine it. No, it's got to be Oh, finished. that is a nice... Oh, look at that! Is that nice or not? Am I just getting carried away? No, you're getting carried away. This needs to be... He's going to clock it or he'll think that Jamie got bored. <laughs> what about scallops? What, 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 what do you I want think to now do? we're going to do... Now we're going to get the steamer and steam everything to generally cook it. I mean, I could do that with the iron and the steam function. You're desperate to yeah, do on, the go iron. go on. You've got to ste use the steamer. You oh, wow. Don't aim it at me. No, no don't just squirt it. it. Well, let's take get all the creases out. Jay, this is so stupid. Fine, we'll use the steamer. <laughs> well, I'm going to do a little almond crumb. 
The one thing Ben said before he left was, I know these guys always try and make things a secret for me, but I'm pretty sure I know what's happening. I was like, I'm pretty sure you don't. I'm <laughs> pretty sure you don't. Oh, boys. Mm, that's quite nice, Jay. Oh, that looks good, Jay. Well done. How do you know when it's ready? Ding! How long does it take? <laughs> <laughs> well done. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start baiting up while you cook the fish. OK. Yeah. Have we got a ring to play it in? Uh, what about the duct tape? tape? Yeah, give me the gaffer tape. Yes! So we're going to do a <laughs> ring of chickpeas. <laughs> in a trowel. But it's also a saucepan. A saucepan. I think this is going to flop. <gasps> oh, gosh. Yes, gosh! Oh, the best use of... How does that look good? I don't know. <laughs> oh, that scallop's lovely and just poached. I'm going to take these off now. Yeah? Yeah. You just want a muy cui, half-cooked scallop. It's going to go around the outside with some scally bobs. Ah! Fruity balance. I'm going to secateur this apricot. Oh, yeah. oh yes. Man, they are lovely and thin. How's it going? Oh yeah, yeah, fine. Now let's go, let's go flippy flippy. Yeah. And then, oh, you can see it's got starting to come apart and flake. That means it's nearly cooked. Flippy flippy, and then we're just gonna uh, give it 30 seconds, then we'll blow torches to finish. Great. This is the greatest thing we've ever done. The oh, fact this is working is amazing. Yes, Kush, yes, Kush. Yeah. Boys, this is fantastic. Uh, I really want to check if it's cooked though. Oh, uh, give me a toothpick, a uh, chopstick. Poke it in and just check it against my bottom lip. It's flaking, it's flaked, mate. mate. You're good. You're good. Oh yeah, I think it's nearly sexy time. A bit of carrot. Oh my gosh, boys! Perfectly charred toast. Charred fruiton, fruit toasts. They'll soak up that little juicy, juicy. Yeah. Bit of smoked salmon on top. Boys, it looks insane. Well done. But the job is only half done. Will Ebers be able to work it out? Right, we've got a lot of shit to hide. Yeah. <laughs> right. Ebers, what a delight you have in store. Please lift the cloche. Very nice. Seared red mullet on top of a fricassee with poached scallops, induya, and enoki mushrooms. It looks beautiful. Cheers. Very tasty. Ooh. Very tasty. Right, so that's a tick. No, it does sound like a tick. You're studying it very closely. What I you, like it. He's you, trying really hard. This is for? what we need. Like a good um, puzzle page yeah. in Sunday paper. Yeah. Don't rush into things. Okay. But it's very delicious. Lots of texture. I like the kind of surf and turf vibe that's going on. Uh, the enoki mushrooms is good. Happy with the um, the cook of the fish? Fish cookery is very good. It's flaking nicely, it's spicy. A little bit of colour and sear. First off, it's delicious. Congratulations, I don't want to stop eating it. Excellent, excellent. Well done, well done. Well done. Well done. You too. Mainly, mainly this one. Thank you. <laughs> so before now, we've done a couple of these and we've had a frozen food challenge, we've had tinned food challenge. On occasion, you've caught me out. On occasion, despite the deliciousness of the dishes, I've worked out. Mm -hmm. Have you got any idea? I would say that all of these ingredients, tinned, canned, jarred, or pre-prepared, and therefore don't need much cooking. There is, however, some delicious cookery going on, some charring of some bread and some fish, but possibly the char only coming from one direct source. Have you done the entire dish with nothing but a blowtorch? Ooh. Good, <laughs> very good guess. As, as, as a question, very have you cooked guess. the dish with nothing but a blowtorch? No. 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 You've used other heat sources? Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ebers, predominantly <laughs> Kush and Jamie have cooked this dish using entirely power tools and DIY equipment. <laughs> I don't even really know what that means. <laughs> it's no knives. No pans, no oven. No bowls. No bowls. No hob. No nothing. I would have no idea. <laughs> I mean, it sounds ridiculous. It tastes delicious. I didn't guess it. I didn't really get close. I'm intrigued to know what weird category and restriction you can put on food to try and yeah. fool me next time. Comment yes, down below yeah. if you guys have got any Comment ideas. Down. And if you like the video and want to see us doing more of these, give it a like. <laughs> <laughs> It's a thumbs up, isn't it, but with a drill. Oh, right, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah.